Time now to check in for lunch with ABC7 Culinary Director Judy Gallagher. And Judy is out today at Libby's Cafe and Bar in Sarasota off of Hillview. Judy, how's it going out there today? Man, did Scalzi nail the weather today. It is gorgeous out here. One of my favorite spots to dine al fresco. And the reason why I picked Libby's today is because we're going to be talking to Adam from L Bar. And that is their boutique play their little bar that they have that's really a cool speakeasy and tonight is first Friday and many of you may not realize there's all sorts of special things that are going to be happening there and unique cocktails and small bites later on this evening so you're going to get to talk to Adam about that we're also going to talk to Chef Fran Chef Fran was the opening chef for Libby's and I'm so glad he's back and he brings his playful whims with a great culinary twist and style so stay with me throughout the hour we're right here at Libby's Cafe in the L Bar. I'll see you in a few minutes. I want you to meet Adam Stone King, and he's the beverage director for all of the side and tables groups. And we're here at Libby's today because something's happening at L Bar tonight. Nice to see well, you, you, Adam. Too. Thank you for having me. So tell us a little bit about what's going to happen tonight on First Friday. So tonight um, is the first, first of our First Friday events. Um, what we did when we started talking about uh, the, the idea of the first Friday was we really wanted to bring some focus to Southside as a whole, Southside mm -hmm. Village, um, really get, you know, Libby's being the anchor of, th of this neighborhood, um, really just start to put some more attention on this area. So the first Friday event tonight is uh, what we'll do is have, we have live entertainment. Um, we will offer some complimentary hors d'oeuvres from nine to 10. And then we'll do a discount of the basically run our happy hour all night long. Oh, that's great. Yeah, and that'll be offered in the L bar. So yeah, you can right. have dinner first if you want, Absolutely. or just come over to the L bar after, or just yeah. come in from maybe a movie or whatever. Exactly. And, and we this offer is going to be always the, the full, oh, yeah, the first Friday. This is going to continue on. Yeah, yeah. So this is the first one of as many, and we'll add to it as we figure I out better love ideas. It. And we'll know. keep everybody posted in the dining page. Let's talk a little bit about the local craft beers that you're serving in cocktails. Okay, um, we'll start over here. So with the sandwiches, um, we just have a couple um, local craft beers. One is the uh, the guys from Big Top uh, oh, Brewing yep, here in Sarasota. Yep, so like that, that is their Circus City IPA. And the other one's semi-local. It's the Cigar City out of Tampa. That's their Tampa-style lager, so it's a much lighter beer, easier drinking. Um, Great. And the cocktails? Yeah, the cocktails. So on the end down there, what you have is, um, it, that is our signature cocktail right now. That is the 1917. This is actually the address of Libby's. Ah, so that is our, is. yes, yes. Okay. So that's our. You could have totally <laughs> made up a story about the Libby drank it in 1917. Yeah, and we'll, still we'll might. work on that. Still we might. still might yes. feel that. And, you know, I always feel like you need a no lovely little, little female touch to it. Yes, this is, this uh, so this is called the Fifi. Um, this drink is actually named after a, a girl that works here, Regina, so longtime friend of mine, um, named the drink after her. So this is a champagne and um, rosé, the Brut Rosé based drink. Perfect. It's got a little strawberry in it, lemon, um, pamplemousse rosé, which is a grapefruit liqueur, and a little absinthe. To give it a oh, little spritz, so it sounds perfect. Fun. Now, while I sip and then stroll, I'll be waiting for Chef Fran to come out of the kitchen and talk to us about the new menu items. Adams, thanks Thank so, you much. so much, and Appreciate cheers it. to First Friday. I got to tell you, it is the perfect day, and I want to reintroduce you to Chef Fran. He's a good friend of the dining page and Chef Judy's dish. So thanks for coming out today, oh, thanks, Fran. Judy. It's Cooking beautiful for me. Here. It Wonderful. is. Let's start with the lib stacker and go around the table of these new creative dishes. It's kind of a, a random sampling of, of uh, items from our new menu. Some of them are just kind of kind of replayed from the past classics, and some of our new dishes. So this is our, our lib stacker. It's a it's a homemade truffled Kobe meatloaf sandwich. Um, this is real playful. It's a zap chicken sandwich. So we, we uh, crust the chicken with zap potato chips and present <laughs> it in the bag. Uh, from the dinner menu, we have some barbecued lamb chops with a currant and truffle risotto and some fig jam. Yum. Uh, a take on beef wellington with duck wellington, heirloom carrots, and uh, a, a duck stock reduction that's enriched with, with stone fruit. Libby's classic deviled eggs with moat caviar. Um, kind of a new age hummus made with almond butter. Mm, I love it. It's so light. It's but it's really addictive. With yeah, it's, it's, it's rich. And it's good. Good for you. And uh, a shaved, a raw vegetable salad of shaved vegetables with butternut squash and cauliflower, pomegranate, lemon. 
I picked this as salad of the year, just saying. Yeah, it's good, it's delicious, it's good for you. And Libby's, we always try to stick to one great classic Asian dish. So this is our take on, uh, on General Chow's chicken, but it's General Chow's shrimp with a vegetable fried rice. Probably the most popular dish on our menu. I love, you know me, whatever it's gonna be when you put that Asian flair to it, I love. Fran, what do you think makes Libby's one of the go-to places in town year after year? I, I think we, you know, we pride ourselves on a really hospitable approach, a really guest-friendly uh, approach, like humanity, I think we add to service. Um, we take a lot of pride in being consistent and disciplined with our food systems and execution. Mm -hmm. So we kind of, I think we, we do a really good job kind of balancing the science of consistency and, and the human end of, of treating people well. And you have darn good truffle fries too. Yes. I mean, you put that all together and it is a classic mix. Whether you're dining indoors or outdoors, don't go anywhere because we're bringing out Libby's special desserts in just a few minutes. Thanks, Fran. Thank you. Fran, I had to keep you on with me to talk about your delicious dessert. Yeah, of course, of course. We, uh, our, our, our desserts are probably the most classic part that, of what we do at Libby's. They haven't changed much because they're so popular. Uh, two warm desserts, both with ice cream, our homemade giant uh, chocolate chip cookie with vanilla bean ice cream. Oh, yeah. And then our Dutch baby baked in a skillet, kind of a sweet and savory uh, hot pancake topped with cinnamon ice cream. And then a salted caramel truffle cake, all very, very popular. I keep talking because I'm eating the warm chocolate chip cookie and I can't talk right now. Well, these are the things like we can change the menu every couple times, you know, a couple times a year. With the dessert menu, the pushback, I mean, I know. guests are really inflexible. When it comes to sweets, they're really committed. And I'm totally committed too. So make sure you come out here to Libby's for lunch or dinner, Sunday a la carte brunch, and definitely tonight, remember the first Friday, for a really fun time. Fran, thank you so much. Thank and uh, back to my cookie. Sorry right. I can't share.